Here. It's all of Kasane platoon. Kasane? Looks like all of you made it out okay. I was able to rescue them thanks to your help. I should be thanking you. I would have been taken over by Babe if you hadn't been there. Hey, Kasane. You're not going to try and kill Yuito again, are you? I already told you. She was the one that saved me. I know. But I want to hear her say it. You have all the right in the world to doubt me. In fact, I don't blame you for it either. Yes, I think it's best to talk for now. We should talk and find a better solution, rather than just forging ahead on assumptions. It took me too long to come to this decision, and I apologize for that. Something's different about you. Can you tell me what happened? Why did you try to kill me? I know this will sound ridiculous, but please hear me out. I tried to kill you because I was asked to. By you. Fifty years in the future. Me? Fifty years in the future? What are you talking about? I completely understand how you feel. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, there's no way I would have believed it either. Do you remember when Captain Seto died on the Kunod Highway, and we saw that strange sight? My time travel power, the red strings, activated. Then we jumped 50 years into the future. What? You went to the future? Red strings. That's right. You said you have dreams about those. It wasn't a dream. I have the ability to travel through time. A power called red strings. And Yuito, apparently you have the same power as well. What? I know we both use psychokinesis, but that's not what you're saying. It seems you understand these red strings a lot better than the rest of us. Just where did you get that knowledge? Was that from the future too? Yes, it was. We saw Yuito in the future. He told me quite a lot. He also asked you to kill me. Right. I'll tell you everything I learned in the future. That should answer everyone's questions. Who should I ask first? The thing that appears when the red strings are used is like a device to time travel. That's apparently what the Kunad Gate is. Normally it appears only for an instant and disappears immediately, but this time it didn't go away. Left open like that, the gate will eventually swallow the world. It was really bad 50 years in the future. In that world, the Kunad Gate was much bigger than it currently is here in our time. The end of the world. That's what it looked like. It seems that in that future, the gate had expanded so much that nothing could be done to stop it. first, none of us could believe what we had heard in the future. It was just too hard to swallow. We got some news in Ceyron, then a bunch of stuff happened, and now we can pretty much believe it. But I have to admit, it's gotta be hard to believe just hearing it for the first time. It was when Kasane used the red strings that the Kunod Gate opened. But when her power activated, it resonated with yours, Yuito. That's... On top of that, the gate seems to be slowly expanding. And looking at the news we got from Ceyron, it more or less matches up. The power we both have is actually gravikinesis. It just looks like psychokinesis. When that gravikinesis becomes strong enough to travel through space and time, it's called Red Strings. 
I had no idea about that either. The Kunan Gate will disappear if Yuito dies. That's what future Yuito said. That just can't be true. It was already too late in the future, which is why he asked me that favor. He wanted me to kill you in the past, so the Kunad Gate could be eliminated before it got too large. So my power affected the Kunad Gate. I've had a bad feeling since listening to that vision in Togetsu. I can't believe I was right. So you knew? Yeah. I didn't want to believe it, but it's true. So... the me in the future... <sighs> I guess I just wasn't able to end it myself. <sighs> How lame. That's not true. The you in that time was great. And you right now is special too. <laughs> I have to admit, I never thought you'd be complimenting me. <laughs> Thanks. That makes me feel a little better. I'm proud I have the same power as you. That reminds me. How is your brain doing? Has it settled down at all? Yeah, it's fine. I'm getting by. I told you not to worry. All right, we should exchange intel. Then first and foremost, we got some questions. Especially about Kyoka. Yes, of course you would. Kyoka, are you one of the design children from Togetsu? Yes, I'm a clone made in Togetsu. My genes come from the founder of the Togetsu faith, Dr. Hitoyo Pope. The city is filled with chosen psionics, designed from the same genetic data as me. We are the children of Togetsu. I see. I guess that's why Kyoka and Dr. Pope look the same. We were shocked when we saw Dr. Pope's vision in the Togetsu facility. I hate to ask this, but if she was one of the Togetsu followers... Yes, Kyoka was a spy. She was spying on Kasane. But that's not the case anymore. She decided to live as one of us. I vouch for Kyoka. She's definitely not our enemy. Yeah, I believe you. What? That was fast. The way Kasane looks at Kyoka is proof enough. Though, that's kind of an embarrassing way to put it. Honestly, I don't know much about Kyoka, so I can't really make this decision myself. But I do know Kasane. I wanted to talk to her to decide what to do, and I thought it was best to trust her. If I trust Kasane, then I trust the people she does. Shiden, there's no need to get so riled up. You know very well this is the kind of person Yuito is. Yeah, I just remembered how stupid he is. Hey, Kasane. If Kyoka is one of the design children, does that mean you are too? Hmm... What? What are you talking about? In Togetsu, we saw design children with the same face as Kasane's. Yes, I probably am. That's a weird way to say it. This is the first I've heard of this. Care to extrapolate? I remembered a little from when I was a child in Togetsu. I remembered Mother. From what I recall, I was told I was one of the design children. It only just came back to me, so it doesn't feel real. That's why I said it like that. Oh, I see. I I'm sorry. It must be a painful memory for you. You look so sad. I I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked. You're very kind, Hanabi. But of course you should have asked. Don't worry about it. And thank you. You're so nice to her, Kasane. Really? I wasn't trying to be. Anyway, is there anything else you wanted to ask about? Yeah, there is. If you know anything about humans coming from the moon, I'm hoping you can tell me more about it. Huh? D did you hit your head or something? Oh, so you guys don't know about this? Wait, what he said is true? I yes All right, I guess we should explain what we've been told. We learned all of this after looking through Togetsu's archive, so I honestly don't know if we should really believe all of it. 
But if you were a Togetsu spy, Kyoka, you would know if this is true or not. Yes, that's indeed what we were taught. But if that was also part of the conspiracy, then... Actually, no. It's true. It's all for real. What do you mean, Kagura? Sugumi, don't look at me like that. I can't stand it when you look at me like that. Kagura, there's a lot I want to ask you. But for now, tell us about history as Togetsu sees it. Do all Togetsu believers know this? Right, about that. The faith. That's all a lie. Just a way to get Togetsu independence. Besides, the place is mostly made up of design children. I must say, it didn't look like a religious establishment to me. So does that mean that you are one of the design children as well, Kagero? Now, now, I said mostly, didn't I? I'm a colonist from the moon. Get real! Even if there actually were colonists from the moon, that would have been 2,000 years ago. Cold sleep? Yes, exactly. A few dozen colonists are being kept in cold sleep in a Togetsu facility. They wake us up in turns to check on the state of the Earth, and then we're supposed to contact the moon. Uh, hold on. Does that mean you're from the same generation as Yakumo? Look, I don't expect you to believe me right away or anything, but it's the truth. The people of New Himuka wanted to live on Earth, so those that wanted to return to the moon made Togetsu. Togetsu doesn't care about New Himuka or Seiron. They're an egotistical lot that wants to return to the moon instead of living on this crappy, other-filled planet. But as long as the extinction belt is there, they can't go back. Not only that, there's news that others are attacking the moon, too. So they got to thinking. What can they do to save their homeland and escape Earth? They need to make it so the colonization never even happened in the first place. The red strings. The time travel power. I see. They want to go back in time and negate it all from ever happening. But wouldn't humanity eventually attempt to colonize Earth again? and repeat this history? To be precise, the plan is to only take the moon and Earth back in time with a few exceptions. Is that even possible? Taking only a portion of the universe back in time? They believe the Red Strings can do it. They plan to leave records of this timeline's history in the areas that were not taken back in time, so future generations won't attempt to colonize Earth again. Hang on. I'm getting confused. That's so outrageous. I don't know how to take it all in. Whether you want to believe it or not, Togetsu actually managed to create the red strings to carry out their plan. Kasane is the result of that. Although, it's pretty strange how Yuito has a similar power. Let's suppose everything he said is true. That means this isn't really the time to be squabbling over Nuhimuka or Seiron. If Togetsu were to get what they're after, then none of us would have ever existed. No, that's not right. We can't let them succeed. We're all here, trying to survive. Kagero, why would someone at the center of Togetsu's plan reveal all this to us? Can we assume that you are planning to abandon them as well? Ruining their plan is something I've been working towards since the beginning. That's why I joined them, to get in the way. That sounds great and all, but how are we supposed to believe you? You don't have to. If you've got a problem with me, I'll walk. But whatever happens, I'm not going to sit back and let them get away with erasing this history. I left my family on the moon. I won't let them take her existence, too. Kagero means it. I can tell. It's been a long time since I've seen him like this. So please, trust him. Sugumi. Sugumi knows Kagero best. I think we can trust her judgment. Besides, I have a feeling you trust him already. Yeah. If Sugumi trusts him, then I trust him too. And if Yuito does, then I do too. Of course, I'll kill him if he betrays us. <laughs> of course. 
I keep making fun of them for being naive, but that's what ends up saving me. If we're going to believe Kagero, then we have to believe all of the history about the colonists from the moon, too. And then figure out what we can do, knowing that. We're stopping Togetsu's plan. That's all we can do, but it's too much for us to handle alone. We need someone who can move nations. Are you going to ask New Himuka for help? We're fugitives there. Even so, we have to. That doesn't mean I forgive them for the things they're doing, though. If they know what Togetsu is trying to do, they might realize their terrible actions are all in vain. What if we asked Seiron for help? If they know about the Togetsu threat, they might realize that New Himuka isn't who they should be fighting. I wonder. As far as I know, both New Himuka and Seiron should have a clear understanding about the Moon colonists and their history. On top of that, they're both scheming to survive. At least it's better than nothing. I don't want to just sit here and wait to be erased. Indeed. So, we should split up and give it a shot? Yes, let's do that. Yuito, you go to New Himuka. And you go try explaining things to Seiron. Now we're finally after the same thing. Let's do our best. I didn't think we'd find out so much in Togetsu. This is all so unexpected. All we did was go to Togetsu, but it felt like such a long journey. Good work, everyone. That was a lot to take in. It's a bit difficult to accept it all. <sighs> but I'm glad we know now. The world we normally see is so small, but our horizons have expanded. And now it's clear that there's another world out there. I'm glad we're on better terms with Kasane, too. That's one less thing to worry about. Hey, everyone. About the Kunad Gate. How your power is affecting it? Oh, Haruka let me see Seiron's investigation into it, but the results were the same. At least we know it really is, well, getting bigger. What if Yuito doesn't use his power? If he avoids combat, for instance? No. I looked at the Kunad Gate investigation papers as well. At this point, I couldn't really find a link between Yuito's specific actions and the Gate's expansion. What? So it doesn't have anything to do with Yuito? No. You could say that just the existence of his power is affecting it. It's pretty much safe to assume that the Gate will continue to expand as long as Yuito lives. Right. I am sorry for how that sounded, but it's probably best that you know since it does concern you. No, I'm glad you told me. Nothing will change if I try to ignore it. If it's like you say, then I don't need to worry about staying out of fights, do I? We do not know all the details about the Kunat Gate, but I think that is correct. What are you thinking, Yuito? I want to ask you all a favor. What is it? After hearing all that in Togetsu, I'd be lying if I said I didn't think that killing me was the only option for us now. But there are still things I need to do. Things I need to learn. We can never say for certain that there is no other way unless we search for one. Just like we didn't know about the moon until we went to Togetsu, there might be a way to stop the gate that we don't know about yet. I'm sure Kasane had the same idea. And that's why she stopped trying to kill me. So... I want you to help me think of a way to get rid of the Kunad Gate. Huh, you had me a little anxious for a moment. Of course we'll help you. Gemma's right. That was the plan all along. Don't forget about my info network. I'll find out even the most secret information. This isn't just your problem. No matter what's going on with the world, you have to remember, we're a team. There has to be a way. And I know we'll find it if we look together. We have to save both you and the whole world. 
You guys. I thought you'd say that, but I guess I was a little worried. So, thank you.